Hello, Capricorn. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of March 1st through the 7th. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join me daily for my quick glance daily readings. Now keep in mind, these are general readings and will not resonate with everyone. You can obtain a private reading by clicking the link to my website below. And also be sure to watch your rising sign and moon sign, which might resonate with you more for this particular week. And I'm using the Shadowscapes tarot deck for this week, so let's get started and see what your cards are indicating. So your first card, Capricorn, the Nine of Pentacles. Next, the Major Arcana card, the Devil. Wow, Capricorn, holy cow. And the Eight of Wands. Your overall energy for the week, the King of Wands. And your star seed oracle card message, weight of the world. And your crystal for the week is Okanite. So at first glance, Capricorn, your cards here are almost a continuation from last week's reading, indicating that you're on your own, Capricorn. You are self-sufficient, but there is still a negative influence around you, something that's holding you back, restricting you from getting what it is that you want. But there is possibly someone to help you, and you're going to be at the beginning of a long journey towards what it is that you want to obtain, Capricorn. And I'm going to pull in on these cards as there's so much detail on them. Give me one moment. And that, that actually seems pretty good. Now let's take a look at your first card here. This is your anchor card for the reading. It's your focus for the week ahead. And you have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is a need for discipline, Capricorn. This is being self-sufficient, relying on no one but yourself. When this card shows up in a reading, it's indicating you need to act with discipline and only through discipline will you get what you're wanting to achieve. This card's definitely indicating a time for self-reliance, for taking charge of your own future, Capricorn. And the pentacles represent earth. And yes, you are an earth sign, but this is Virgo's energy. Very organized, intelligent, health conscious, ambitious. This card's ruled by Venus. So it's associated with love and friendship. And the number nine energy of this card signifies completion and often in the material sense. Because nines represent a time for looking back over what you've done, Capricorn, feeling secure enough in your own achievements and then using those achievements and integrating them into your future. So looking at our card here, we see this being, spiritual being, making a connection musically through a very elaborate piano which is tuned to the surrounding world, intertwined in nature, kind of like growing like the living trees around it. And she alone, she's alone and she comes out here to seek the solitude. She's content with her self-sufficiency. She does not look at her hands as she plays, but gazes up at this beautiful, stained glass, perfection of the sun shining through from the leaves above. She smiles and basks in the warmth and the emerald radiance. So 
what this card is showing you, Capricorn, is the balance of the material with the spiritual. It is the material well-being and through discipline in order to attain things, relying on yourself and trusting in your own abilities. It's also understanding and appreciating the wealth and what you already possess around you, Capricorn. So the focus this week, Capricorn, is take a good look at yourself, review what you've accomplished and what you have around you and what you need to be grateful for, as that can quickly change. The Nine of Pentacles is all about getting to the fruits of your labor, but this is through extremely hard work and discipline, and it's a time now for self-reliance, taking charge of your own future in order to reap the benefits that you so desire. Now, your next card here. Capricorn, this is actually one of your cards, the major arcana card, the devil. So the energy and vibration from this card is amplified this week. So something that is of your own doing, Capricorn, is restricting you and limiting you to attain the goals that you seek. Now, some Capricorns could be ignoring your higher self and be disconnected from spirit. And in that way, you're deceiving yourself. This is your card, Capricorn, associated with your first and second chakra. And if those chakras are not balanced, you remain stuck in this world that you've created for yourself. You're chained down with limitations, restrictions, and codependency. And this is all of your own doing. Now, in general, the devil card is a card of indulgence and material pleasure. And when the devil card does show up, there is something you do that might feel good at the time, but not good for your health or well-being. So this could be overindulging in eating, alcohol, what you breathe in, impulse buying, which then is further trapping you in this world that you've created. Now, the number 15 of the devil card reduces down to six. This is the desire to have harmony and balance, but it is not obtainable in the world that you've created. Six is the number of the third eye chakra, and that's your perception and intuition, which is tremendously off balance. When the devil card shows up, you're not perceiving things and seeing things clearly, and you're not trusting in your intuition and certainly not connected with spirit for guidance and directions. Looking at the card, we see the woman towards the bottom here. Losing her independence, addiction, and enslavement, caught up in the material realm, overindulgence, choosing to stay in the dark, feeling hopeless and with limited options. All you need to do, Capricorn, is to break free from these strings of attachment. Now, taking a look at your next card here, you have the Eight of Wands. Let's look at that first. This is a card of setting things in motion. This is very intense energy. This is indicating something is about to happen and very quickly, Capricorn. Possibly a message you've been waiting for will just show up, arriving very quickly, communicating its message. Now, I always like to pay attention to like the direction of the wands, but in the Shadowscapes deck, the wands are represented as these little globes here which kind of look like puffs of old dandelions. And looking at the card here, the individual has pulled eight, setting them off in motion, each one by one, making a wish on each one. Now the eight of wands here is Sagittarius's energy, very optimistic, open-minded, enthusiastic, and somewhat unpredictable. But it is ruled by the planet Mercury, which has everything to do with communication which seems to kind of be the running theme here. 
get you back on track here. Now the number eight energy of this card is abundance. It's influence. It's taking the lead on what it is you want to accomplish. What is your goal? What is a Capricorn you desire? The eight of wands is setting things in motion. And once you do, be prepared because once the energy of this card shows up, all you can do is hold on. It's almost impossible to stop. So the warning with this card as to what it is indeed you're putting into motion or possibly rushing into, is it in line with your goals? If it is, then proceed. But this is very intense energy, possibly extreme communication coming in, and things could be happening very quickly. Now let me shift the cards so that we can see our top row up close. And we're going to start off with your overall energy card. And you have the King of Wands. This is very powerful energy. So two things could be happening for the Capricorns out there. Could be that you're possessing the traits of this King of Wands or the King of Wands, which is a Leo individual, could be showing up this week. This is the fiery energy of Leo, very loving, generous, authoritative, self-assured, confident, charismatic, associated with your third chakra, your navel chakra, and that is your will and determination, Capricorn. So if you're possessing the traits of this King of Wands, you could be moving forward on your own, being self-sufficient, relying only on just you, Capricorn, to make what it is you want to happen for your life. You're going to make that happen with the traits of the King of Wands. But if this is indeed an individual showing up, this is a very authentic, charismatic experience, an influential Leo individual showing up this week, or possibly you're seeking out this type of individual. The King of Wands is a natural leader devoted to family and those he leads, very charming and motivated to take action to bring about positive change. Very decisive and courageous and often takes risk based on his gut feelings. In other words, always trusts in his intuition, will always take on competition and challenges and has a lust for life, likes to be surrounded by a diverse group of people and is receptive to different points of view when considering a situation. Now, the King of Wands knows himself well and is a very authentic person. He expresses his true nature in all that he does and acts and speaks with integrity. But he does not hesitate with his fiery temper emerges and he expresses his feelings instead of letting them stay within. So you definitely want to have the King of Wands on your side, Capricorn. And don't let the gender of it being a king Indicate masculine or feminine. The King of Wands is a Leo individual, either currently in your life or someone you might seek out to help you with your situation at hand. Now this week I pulled an Oracle card from the Starseed Oracle deck and you received the weight of the world. And this is you Capricorn, pictured, head above water, this is indicating you don't need to carry it all. This card's a reminder to look after your own well-being before anyone else's, to stop carrying the world's problems on your shoulders. Now, during these very challenging times, it's hard not to feel overwhelmed by the state of the planet. However, you can't take on its problems without falling victim to energetic depletion. And it's not about switching off to the world's problems, but establishing clear boundaries so that you're not constantly taken out energetically. The planet needs you to be healthy, both physically and emotionally. 
So what this card is indicating, Capricorn, is as soon as you wake up, first go to a nourishing practice such as meditation, deep breathing, or exercising in nature. Do not reach for your phone or turn on that TV. Start your day with filling up your own will. And when it's full, you can face the day, the state of the world, and care for others. And then also at day's end, Capricorn, take an energetic shower by just emptying out anything that's not yours to carry. So this is about letting go, Capricorn, and setting up boundaries and letting go of what's not yours to carry. Now, your angels and guides have chosen the Okanite crystal, and it's a very unusual crystal indeed. And I have yet to get one myself. But this crystal can help you to remove any old patterns or beliefs that are holding you back in life. Now, these old beliefs and patterns may be from this lifetime or some of your past lives. So it's time now for you to see that there are many different and new ways to act or to look at things. Try to look at each situation, Capricorn, for what it is. And if you remain positive, it will help you to move through any challenging situations. And this is specifically about freeing yourself from any karmic debts. Anything that no longer serves you and is holding you back or hurting you. Now, the Okanite crystal will help you to clear any obstacles in your path. And it also helps to clear all of your chakras. So the Okanite crystal kind of ties into the devil card where you're repeating dysfunctional cycles over and over again. So it's a very good card to meditate with on a daily basis and asking for your chakras to be cleared and centered and to remove old patterns and beliefs that are truly holding you back in this lifetime, Capricorn. Now, let me pull this back to show your entire spread. And I want to do your numerology. So we're going to take a look here at your three base cards. And your numerology is 32, which reduces down to five. So once again, Capricorn, you have this number five energy surrounding you, which is a very difficult energy. It's an energy where you must persevere. As it shakes things up, it breaks old habits, it makes you feel like you're passing through fire and learning lessons, trying to get you to break the dysfunctional cycle of repeating the same pattern over and over again. So the Okanite crystal will definitely help you out with this kind of energy. So in summary for this week here, Capricorn, you have the overall energy of the King of Wands, which can be a Leo individual coming into your life or someone you're seeking out to help you with what it is indeed you're trying to accomplish. But it can also mean that you're adapting the traits of the King of Wands and relying on yourself to get you through whatever it is you're dealing with this week. The Nine of Pentacles as your anchor card, your focus for the week. This is a card indicating to be self-sufficient, to rely strictly on yourself, Capricorn. It's indicating that you need discipline and balance in your life. This is Virgo's card, so it's indicating a lot of hard work ahead for you in order for you to achieve the fruits of your labor. And next comes the major arcana card, the devil. This is your card, Capricorn. This is for many Capricorns, the world you have created for yourself. Limitations, restrictions, attachments, doing things that in the end are not for your health and well-being. And this card's indicating you could be ignoring your higher self and being disconnected from spirit. So you are chained to this kind of energy, repeating it over and over again. And your next card, the Eight of Wands, is indicating something's coming into play very quickly. Could be a message coming in, communicating something to you very intensely, almost coming out of nowhere. Now, the Eight of Wands 
is the beginning of a long journey towards your goal, Capricorn. So a great undertaking is at hand and it speeds towards reward with hope and momentum for you, Capricorn. And this certainly could be your own doing. And your Starseed Oracle card, Weight of the World, this is you pictured here, Capricorn, trying to keep your head above water as you need to set up boundaries. You need to start your day from a place within instead of reaching for the phone or letting the outside world right in when you wake up. Choose to exercise in nature or do some meditating to start your day. And at the end of the day, just release anything that's not yours to hold on to. Your angels and guides are suggesting the Okanite crystal, indicating you might have some karmic debts. You need to release those debts or you will be forever destined to repeat the cycle over and over again. And your numerology for this week is number five Capricorn, which is a difficult energy. It is one that puts you to the test to see if you truly have what it takes to release those karmic debts and to move forward with discipline and hard work to go after what it is you truly desire for your life. So once again, I am extending some blessings for my Capricorns to be able to move forward on this long journey to what it is that will give you comfort and happiness. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe and help support my channel if you haven't already. And for private readings, click on my website link below. Love and abundance to my Capricorn family.